Well, anytime I can come down here to uh, Daniel Island in Charleston, uh, I love coming here. First of all, this venue, this stadium, uh, and all the surrounding courts, and of course the trees and the grass, and it's just a wonderful destination. And the people of Charleston area and the region, wow, what a, what a facility come and, and play. And uh, also, you know, uh, last night was amazing, the original nine. So how did that feel for you to be with your old friends, people who changed the world, not only for women, but for all people? Well, you know what's so wonderful? It's, we haven't seen each other like that, you know, since the 80s. And I was so thrilled that all of us are still alive, for a starter, because we're getting long in the tooth, and, you know, you start to really think about your time's running out, uh, uh, and you really think about you haven't seen these people for a long time. And your memories go back to that day in Houston when we're holding up that one one dollar bill and and you know which was the birth of women's professional tennis and I just I just remember how excited I was but how scared I was and seeing everybody last night and seeing the success of our tour in women's professional tennis it's, it's pretty awesome because we didn't really know if it happened but it definitely was our vision to have the game, the game of, of tennis global. It was our vision that any little girl um, born in this world, if she were good enough, that she'd have a place to play and to make a living. And our dream has come uh, true, and the players are actually living our dream, which I just love it. Every time I watch a tennis match and see any of the women professional players, anytime I hear a young girl say, I want to be a pro, anytime I hear a young girl say, I want to be number one, uh, which I hear often, you know, when the 9, 10, and 11 year olds, uh, I know, at least I know there's a place for them. Uh, because the WTA Tour really is the heart and soul uh, of women's tennis. And uh, in general, World Team Tennis is coming here for Charleston. It's the new home of the finals, really, the second year now. And I can't think of a better venue, America's top tennis town. How do you like this beautiful atmosphere for WTT? Uh, it's perfect uh, for WTT. Uh, I know the players are looking forward to it. I think the weather is going to be just right. It won't be too hot like sometimes it can be uh, for all of us throughout the whole country in July. So uh, I'm, I'm thrilled that uh, we're also going to have the, you know, that few weeks to promote the fact uh, who's going to make the conference finals uh, and who's going to be, uh, yeah, obviously we have to wait to see who wins between the East and West Conference, but uh, I'm thrilled with the league, the lineup this year. Uh, we have a tremendous um, amount of uh, terrific players and we have young and uh, and we have some twilighters, but not too many. Uh, we have basically the, you know, the tour players and uh, there's some young good ones coming in though, so I'm, I'm very excited. And, I think if we could come here, um, this will be in case we ever use it, I don't know, but it would be great if we could really have uh, Daniel Island in Charleston be our home and people could start thinking about it year after year after year and put it on their calendar. Uh, I think it would be <clears throat> great because it's a wonderful destination. It's beautiful. Uh, the food's great here. It's very scenic and the people are very hot. It's tremendous, you know, that there's such history here. The Family Circle Cup, it's having its 40th uh, anniversary this week. And also, it's wonderful that World Team Tennis can be here. It has such a rich history of tennis now. It's a great destination. And uh, to have the Family Circle Cup and World Team Tennis here, it just shows uh, what a terrific venue this is and how hospitable everyone is. And uh, it's just, it's fun to come here. People have a great time. And really so much to look forward to in the World Team Tennis season. Talk about your excitement and what you love the most about WTT. Well, the pressure is, uh, there's such an impact of pressure with World Team Tennis because it's uh, fast, furious, and fun. And you really got to get out of the blocks fast, which we think actually helps the players develop their game over the long haul as well. Uh, but what an exciting uh, format at night because uh, I love the fact that everybody uh, can contribute to the team effort. I love the fact whether you win or lose the next night, you're back out there so the people get to know you. Uh, you can have role players, you can have superstars, you can have all kinds of things happen. I mean, we, we are very, very fortunate in that uh, anything can happen and you, you just have to try your best on every single point. Uh, with our bonus system of, you know, percentage of games won at the end of the season, I mean, every single game counts 
and that's why I love it. There's so much pressure, but that's what makes us better as athletes. And any player that doesn't uh, want to be under any kind of pressure isn't going to make it as a pro. That's part of being a great athlete, is having that pressure, and how do I respond to it? It's just like character. Character is only revealed when you're under pressure or there's a crisis in your life. Then you know what you're made of. That's what it brings out. I think our format brings out that if you've got the guts to stand up and know it's fast, that every game counts, every point is absolutely vital, uh, and that you've got your team depends on you, your community is depending on you. Uh, I love that. I think that's what makes it uh, have such a much deeper meaning. I know when I played, that's the part I love. I love the deeper meaning involved that I've got a teammate or teammates that were relying on each other. I love the fact I'm playing for my community. Uh, when I played for the Philadelphia Freedoms, when I played for the, the New York Sets or New York Apples, Los Angeles Strength, I'm playing for those people. I'm try I want our team to help this community and to be enriched. I want to help the quality of life. I want to have the kids see us play, and, and maybe they'll want to be a tennis player. And I don't care if they're a great player, but I care if they're a champion in life. And if we can give them the gift of tennis, if we can get them excited about our sport, they can have, neat, you know, some of these kids have new sheroes and heroes because of World Team Tennis. They come out, they've never seen the team uh, format, they see it, they really fall in love with certain players. It's not always the marquee player or the, you know, the superstar. In fact, in a child's mind, it can be anybody on the team that's their superstar. And that's what I love. And then we have our mascots, which the five and under love to see. I mean, you know, so I ask them, why don't you come out? And they go, I came out because I want to see the mascot, you know, they're so cute. So uh, there's something for everybody in World Team Tennis, and that's what I like. And I love the fact that it's equal with men and women on a level playing field and that we have to learn to communicate and all the good things that you want to uh, have in life. You know, it's, it's just, it's, it's fantastic. It's just the greatest feeling when I played World Team Tennis. I, it was never, it was never anything like it, never. Nothing else I played for me personally came close to it because of all those factors. And I love the fact that it was tight. I love the fact, you know, it was no ad. I loved it. I love that, that point by point pressure. I mean, either you have it or you don't, and that's what every athlete lives for, is that this is the moment of truth, can I come through? And we're constantly having to put up with that in our format. And every game counts. If you're having a bad set, win a game. It may make the difference at the end of the night. You never know. And one of your great friends, Venus Williams, was at the event last night. She was up there on the stage with you, making the effort to spend time with the champions and also show how much she appreciates everything you've done. What do you think about Venus and the fact that she was able to spend that time with you and those other Hall of Famers? Well, it's tremendous that Venus showed up because uh, last night at our original nine uh, celebration uh, dinner that we that Family Circle uh, held for us, nobody expected it. So anytime somebody goes the extra mile and shows up, I think it was a surprise. Just adds to the evening. And Venus, uh, being the the younger one, that's uh, really our leader in the women's tennis right now. It's uh, it was really really special. And to hear her stories and to hear her talk about the other players and who influenced her and, and thanking the original nine was really nice and to have all the people there, you know, to have Chris Everett, uh, Martina Navratilova, Martina Hingis, Renee Stubbs, Tracy Austin, I mean, and Pam Shriver, uh, Julie Foudy, just Shriver and Foudy doing the announcing. I mean, they were wonderful MCs last night uh, and, they, and they're, you know, they're gifted athletes in their own right. So. Uh, they, they, they understand. I mean, Julie Foudy in soccer, obviously, who was the heart and soul of the World Cup uh, team in 1999 and has won, you know, a couple of gold medals and a, a silver medal, but she calls it white gold, which I think is hysterical. <laughs> she says, not silver, white gold. And, uh, you know, Pam Shriver, who's won more doubles than anybody else. And also she's won a lot of singles tournaments, which a lot of people don't realize. I think she's won 21 titles. so. Uh, don't forget that as well. But Pam Shriver is probably our best MC uh, for for uh, women's tennis. I mean, and she's also our best auctioneer. So she's got the gift. It's, Pam is the best on her feet. Knowledgeable, bright. She's the best. She's done a good job at smash hits. Yeah, she does a great job at smash hits. She help. Pam comes through for everybody, and uh, we really appreciate it. But to have the original nine up there on stage with the younger ones behind us uh, was really special. Uh, I mean, I'll never forget it. And of course, uh, to reminisce with and catch up with the uh, 
the original line has been very special and to connect again and to share uh, this moment of celebration.